The obvious one is she doesn't come on heat again. She's supposed to be on heat after every 21 days if the crossing is not successful. And then the second one is she shows no interest in the boar. If she doesn't come on heat after 21 days, you might be tempted to release her to the boar and that is where the fight will begin. Her needs are met. She no longer needs the boar in her life. Besides, there is no reason to rebel after your needs are provided. And on this note, she's also telling you that there is no campaign after elections. And then the third one is she stays calm because she is not herself again. After meeting, she tries to live peacefully, usually lying down on her belly most of the time. At this stage, she doesn't even respect the farm attendant again. She becomes reluctant to get up for you to clean up her messy room. Laziness takes over her life. Their calmness and peacefulness are behaviors they exhibit to protect the developing embryos. And then the fourth one you are supposed to see is that feeding is decreased in her. Few weeks after successfully breeding her, how she used to feed is dropped and then she gathers the momentum to feed once again. So if you see this, it means you are preparing for a happy following day and I wish you that in advance. What you should never listen to in big farming is when people say market doesn't matter. This is only true if you are producing for self-consumption. I have come across farmers who said they were told that pigs are always in demand and once they produce their pigs, the buyers will definitely find them. This is far from the truth. Start with the consumer in mind, raise few pigs and try to observe how the market behaves. And remember, you don't test the waters by dipping both feet inside, you will drown in it. Whenever you hear the statement, just start and your customers will find you. Know that it is the voice of a failure whispering into your ears. Ignore it and then do the right thing. And the next thing you are not supposed to listen is when they say vaccination is not necessary. If you come across a farmer proudly saying this, immediately stop whatever you're doing. Just turn around and gaze at their lips to see whether they are in sync. Pigs are not humans to tell you that they are not feeling well. Besides, you don't vaccinate when you are already infected. You treat. The essence of vaccination is not to cure disease, but to boost your immunity in anticipation of a disease or infection. It is possible to not deworm or give ions to your pigs and still have them healthy. It is the same with some humans who cannot remember the last time they dewormed their system, but they are still living. Your pigs are healthy alright, but can be healthier if vaccinated. I'm telling you this in this video that deworm and give ions and vitamins when necessary. Should there be any disease in the circulating air, you are safe, and if there isn't any disease, you are still safe. Heaven or no heaven? Still do good. And the third one is inbreeding is normal. In the short term, it might be true, but the problem arises when your sow starts giving you deformed piglets with weaker legs that are not able to support their body. Inbreeding has long-term negative implications, including the development of hernia and then reduced immunity from generation to generation and finally leading to the increased stillbirth where piglets are dead before born. When a farmer reports that their potential boars and sows have refused to cross each other, the first question is how are those pigs related? Inbreeding can lead to low libido and disinterest in mating among pigs. Never allow a son to mate with her mother. And for the boys, they are always bigger than their daughter, so that one is almost impossible. When your weaned piglets enter the growing phase, separate them into males and females in two different rooms unless the males are castrated. And then the fourth one is you don't need to invest in housing. Remember, you can only practice good hygiene when your pen is built accordingly. Your pen is to protect your pigs and not to cause injury to them. Are there any protruding nails? Hammer them inside the wood. I don't know whether they are scratch cards, but pigs love to scratch themselves against walls, which can get them pierced by the nails or wood. Again, pigs love to test the strength of things around them. If your strata is not strong enough, you will wake up one day and cannot differentiate between a dream and a reality when your pen is almost empty. Invest heavily in housing the pigs for security and peace of mind. And then the next one is uh, pigs eat anything. That is what leads them to compromise immune system. Any disease that tries to play with them, they end up suffering from their play. Be selective in your kitchen waste. I once ran into a farmer one particular morning with a bucket full of what I call a uh, waste water. I asked, why are you taking this to? And then he replied with a, a catchy slogan, my pigs are loving it. So wow. Spicy residues are not healthy for your pigs, particularly you are training your pigs to feed on domestic fowls if you keep giving them kitchen waste. So there are some things when you hear you should question them before you try to consume them. Don't always listen to what they say. 
find out from a veterinarian and then get to the writing down to have a healthy farm.